Now, this method right here, remember it's the stitch method, very simple, okay? So you got your keyhole, you have your gap in the center, and this is half of your root already done, okay? So what you're gonna be doing here, whenever you're stitching in the middle, you're gonna stitch right in the center, you're gonna stitch right in the center, and you're gonna dig in, and you're gonna press, I want you to press right on top of your keyhole. And then you're gonna pull out your rod and touch your puddle. Go back up, press on top of the keyhole, come back down, touch your puddle. And that's gonna make it grow. Whenever you're going up, you're letting your puddle freeze or cool down so that you can stack more metal on top. And that's gonna make it grow. So remember this, you have your gap in the center, you're gonna dig in the middle, you're gonna stitch up, push on top of that keyhole, come back down, touch your puddle. Welcome back my welding family. Once again here, Rosendo Rodriguez, welding fly tech. I've been having a lot of questions from beginners, all right? They've been asking me how to do a root pass on a 3 8 plate vertical, 3G position. Now, this is a little bit different from the half inch plate. Why? Because the half inch plate's a little bit thicker than 3 8 um, The half inch plate holds a little bit more heat so it might be a little bit more easier, technically. Now the 3 8 plate, it's a little bit thinner. Be careful with the heat. You don't want to go too hot and start blowing through. Won't be able to close that gap. Now, this is a 3 8 plate. We already have our gap. It's a 332 gap with a nice, very nice 332 landing inside, okay? What do I mean by nice? Make sure that you grab your 332 spacer and measure that landing. All right, so if you have a weak landing, that means you're gonna blow through real easily, okay? So be careful with that. Now, 332 gap, tack at the bottom, tack on the top. Now we're gonna be doing a root pass with 6010-18. We're gonna be going at 80 amps uphill. Y'all ready? Let's go ahead and do this. So let's go to the board real quick so I can explain this to you. Now, this method right here, remember it's the stitch method, very simple, okay? so. You got your keyhole, you have your gap in the center, and this is half of your root already done, okay? So, what you're gonna be doing here, whenever you're stitching in the middle, you're gonna stitch right in the center, you're gonna stitch right in the center, and you're gonna dig in, and you're gonna press, I want you to press right on top of your keyhole. And then you're gonna pull out your rod and touch your puddle, go back up, Press on top of the keyhole, come back down, touch your puddle. And that's going to make it grow. Whenever you're going up, you're letting your puddle freeze or cool down so that you can stack more metal on top. And that's going to make it grow. So remember this, you have your gap in the center. You're going to dig in the middle. You're going to stitch up, push on top of that keyhole, come back down, touch your puddle. Now. Whenever we start here, we're gonna warm up our tack, blow through. As soon as you blow through, you're gonna have a keyhole right here. So once you start seeing your keyhole, what you're gonna do, you're gonna start pressing on top of your keyhole. You're gonna press lightly, not too much. Press, blow through, come back down in the center and you're gonna touch your puddle. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're running at 80 amps, let's do this. Shop all premium welding goods shown in this video at weldlife.com. All right, warm up your tack, punch. Look how I'm stitching. Stitch up, punch my keyhole, touch your puddle. Stitch up, punch my keyhole, touch your puddle. Make sure you're punching that keyhole on the top. Hold on. All right, so we had a stop right in the center. We ran out of material. What we're gonna do right now is feather or restart. Feather it nice and thin, okay? All right, let's go ahead and restart now. What we're gonna do is strike an arc down here. Strike an arc, warm up your metal side to side, side to side. Once you start getting to your keyhole, then you can start punching again. 
punch on top of your keyhole. Punch on top of your keyhole, pull out, touch your puddle. Stitch up, punch, pull out, touch your puddle. Now remember, if your gap is getting a little tighter, right? What you're gonna do is turn up your amperage, all right? Maybe 85, 90, and so on. But remember, you're welding a 3 8 plate. Be careful with your heat. My gap looks pretty good, it looks even. We're gonna keep it at 80, same thing, okay? Stitch up, stitch, touch, stitch, touch. Make sure you're punching your keyhole. Gotta make sure you punch the top of your keyhole all the way through. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. We just finished our 3G open route uphill using 6010-18 on a 3 8 plate. Really simple, okay? Just remember those little tricks I told you about. Control your amperage. Watch out for that keyhole, that gap. Okay, so if you like our gear, I was using the field uh, top and bottom, black Paisley uh, fiber metal headgear, really light, super light. So you can check it out on wellife.com. Remember, comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Rock. <laughs>